Hey guys, Popflight Plays here, back at it again with another tutorial video for Galaxy, and this is a bit more important, um, not as important as the mining video, of course, because mining is the core aspect of the game, and you need to do it for everything, basically, except for combat. But trading, which you will inevitably need to do, here are some freighters, the worm, the starter freighter, the prep, for short, I, I can't really pronounce its full name, but we'll just call it the prep for short. The mid-tier freighter, and then the Big Daddy E-Class. Uh, my E-Class over here, which is your end-game goal for the freighters. Now, you're going to start off with the small little worm over there, and I'll teach you how to progress from there, and how to build more ships. Alright, you two can go do whatever you want. That's fine, I'm going to get started with this video. If you guys don't know, I have them in voice chat with me. I just have them muted so there's no like interrupting in the video. But you'll get to hear them soon enough, don't worry. Now, the E-Class is a big beefy tanky ship. It's got 3,500 shields and 6,500 hull. And it's got a big cargo hold. Now, this is what freighters are for, cargo hold. They're for carrying lots and lots of supplies. Now, uh, what you're going to do with carriers, or what all ships, I'm just going to get it started off with this, all ships, except for fighters, have a cargo hold, but freighters have an especially large cargo hold. And, just like miners, are generally unarmed and have no weaponry to defend themselves. So, people target miners and freighters, especially big ones like this E-Class, and attack them when they're at war. But so long as you're not at war with anyone, they can't attack you, and you're fine. Yeah, dummy thick impact. That's what you are, dummy thick. Okay. Enough with the kidding around. Let's make sure this uh, E-Class docks, and then I'm going to get into the basics. <clears throat> now, I will say, I'm going to start off, or, I already started off, but, I will say you're going to need a warehouse. Like, you, you have a warehouse by default, but you're going to need a bigger warehouse to start trading with bigger freighters. Like, you... Not only does it take larger warehouses to build bigger freighters, but it's going to take larger warehouses to store the materials that you trade with them. But that's only if you're going to store the materials and not store them for yourself and not just uh, sell them. But you start by default with the worm freighter. It's free, now we already have one. So if you don't start with it, you can always buy it from the build ship menu under the freighter section for free, but let's just spawn our worm. Now this is important to the game. Now our worm is arriving at terminal A, so let's just use the elevator. It just teleports us downstairs. And here it is, and unfortunately Roblox has broken the meshing for it, so the worm is a bit wonky and buggy right now. But that's just its model that's messed up by Roblox, and it will be fixed, don't you worry. Now, I don't know what that was. That was weird. Alright, well, it's gonna respawn us, so don't worry. So, what freighters are for? You take your cargo hold, and you want a certain ore for building a ship, or just to keep in storage, or you want to trade it because you can buy it for cheap at one star base and sell it for a profit at another one. So what you're going to want to do, or certain parts and stuff like alien parts or Kodiak armor plates, collectibles and stuff. So what you're going to want to do is bring up the buy uh, tab from the Starbase menu, and it's going to give you a list of all the ores you can buy in Starbase. Now, different colors mean different things, and if you open up the Economy tab uh, over your mini-map, you can see here it is. 
Green, you can buy and sell ores. Red means you can sell ores, but not buy them. And orange means you can buy them, but not sell. Black, which Aqueous has all black prices, means you can't sell or buy ores and can't trade with it. So, luckily, all the other ores are green because the leaders of the factions enabled buying and selling. So that's what we're going to do. With our worm, we're going to use our little 250 cargo hold and buy silicate, which is a really good measure because... As ores get more valuable, they also get heavier, so you can't necessarily fit a lot of titanium or quantum or especially uranium inside of your warehouse or your cargo hold because it takes up too much space. With silicate, there's a one-to-one -one ratio. One silicate uh, takes up one slot. So we'll buy 100 silicate, and that's 100 space in our cargo hold. 100 more, and then 50 more. Now we have 250 silicate, taking up 250 space in our cargo hold. So we're going to teleport to our ship through the teleport menu. And it's a small, fast little worm. Doesn't really turn well, but that's because it doesn't need to. And what you're going to want to do is probably, most likely, you're going to be going to the mega base. So you're going to hit V for the warp menu. See how far Mega Base is. It says underneath it, 40,000. So we're going to go what looks about 40,000 away. And it'll warp us. Now, after you exit warp, there's going to be a short cooldown. And I overwarp by just a tiny bit, but I'm still in docking range. Now, when you're in docking range, there will be a purple option that says dock at station that pops up you can hit it manually or you can press t and it just docks you so you're fine then you can get out of your ship and go in through uh the little hallway the docking bay hit this little teleport pad and now you're in mega base now you can do one of two things so what we're going to do is both you're going to hit sell the star base if you want to sell ores Welcome Make sure, Be sure you're highlighting your ship, so you're selling from area. your ship, the ores in your warehouse. Or your cargo hold, I mean. I'm just going to set them side by side. Now we have 250 50 silicates, so we're going to sell 100. And it takes 100 out of our cargo hold. But now, if we want to put it in our warehouse, we transfer the items by hitting the transfer items uh, tab on the starbase menu of um, megabase so there you can transfer one you can transfer 10 or you can transfer 100 if you want to be precise those are the three you can do to do exact amounts but if you just want to slap it all in there there's an all button so you don't have to bother clicking 100 dozens of times if you're in something like an E-Class. And freighters being uh, no loyalty class, they don't require any specific loyalty or star bases to spawn. You can spawn them anywhere without restriction other than at unfriendly star bases and star bases of other teams. But it's fine. So... What you can do is say you can buy from a star base. You can spawn in E class, but we don't. Or hold on, let let's spawn. Let's go to Wales and spawn our. Do we have a prep? No, I nuked it. All right, so let's just bring out the E class, and I want to see if we have enough materials for a prep. I'm not going to build one because I don't need one. And I think you guys get kind of the idea of how trading is. Very simple. But here's our E-Class. So, E-Class, much bigger than a worm, much more expensive. You're going to need to upgrade your warehouse to buy it. You do that by going to Megabase, opening your menu, and hitting Upgrade Warehouse. And it'll say, Upgrade your warehouse to level blah blah blah. Depends on what level you already are. 
for a certain amount of credits that changes depending on what level warehouse you are again. And it's much cheaper for a much smaller warehouse, but for me it's a level 30 warehouse for 250,000 credits. But here, let's go back to our starbase. So after you've upgraded your warehouse to fit the ores of your freighter or to build the ship you want, you buy the ores from the starbase, or you could buy it from Megabase, but at the moment Megabase is broken and only sells two ores, but usually it sells all the ores and you can buy it without using a freighter. Desk, but assistance. let's just go back to Wales and buy some random various ores, get some alien parts. There's no real problem. I'm going to sell that Quantium mainly because it a pain in the butt and it's more expensive than at megabase so now we have some ores in our e-class its cargo hold is 817 out of 10,000 so there's plenty of room to buy more and this is why I left instead of just buying all the ores I can this is why I left some space in it Rex occasionally ships will die like when these unfortunate aliens get too close to our star base and get killed so if you highlight the icon of a wreck, like this wreck of Alien Swarmer, a blue loot button will pop up. You can click it manually, like that. Or you could hit L when it pops up, and it will still loot. And it'll tell you how many items you get when you loot. So from these swarmers, we're getting 105 items per swarmer. Now this could be profitable, because, well, aliens, swarmers, they drop uranium, and uranium is very heavy, which is why you're going to need a big warehouse to store it. Not many ships actually use it as a building material, but you're going to want to loot this uranium with the freighter you're using, or a large cargo hold combat ship, and let's just wrap up getting these two freighters and you're going to sell it and you will get a pretty decent profit now swarmers drop much less than a punisher would so an alien punisher would give you like 20,000 credits just from the uranium you got from it which is why you want big freighters alien hunting can be very profitable so let's say you get these freighters and you loot them now what do you do? You go to a starbase. Now once again we're just going to use the easy example of Megabase. So we're going to do as we've already done and warp right over to Megabase. And when we get there we're going to sell off the ores and make a profit. Let's just enjoy this nice calmness. And look, they have an E-Class over there from the other team. Oh, but some aliens are shooting it. Although that shouldn't matter because you have plenty enough health to tank the fire. So let's just let our warp cool down. Now here we are, and we dock. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed that little moment of silence. Clear your head. And now, we have all the loot from what we bought, and the aliens we looted and salvaged, and they dropped some alien parts which don't really have much of a use. You can sell them or keep them in case something gets added to the game that needs them, but for now, we're just going to sell our items and transfer the rest into our warehouse. We're going... So, look at my credits. 91,000 credits. Let's sell that uranium. Boom! Over 10,000 credits just from a few alien wrecks. So, you guys will definitely like to, um, 
use freighters to salvage alien wrecks and enemy ships because it can make you a big profit. So now we're going to sell this quantum and titanium and some other materials and then we're going to transfer the rest into our warehouse. And now you have more items in your warehouse, although mine, not really much of a difference. But there are other freighters, a lot of mid-tier ones you can buy, and some VIP ones like the Carvenir, whatever, however you pronounce that, and the Constellation. Oh, oh, Carvenir. It got taken out of the VIP list. So normally, these two would need VIP Game Pass to purchase by um, buying the VIP Game Pass off of the game's page to buy them, but they both have weaponry on them. But now, I'm gonna get this one just because it's amazing. Here's a nice mid-tier one, and we're gonna spawn it here at Mega Base, and I think I'm gonna end the video there. But, uh, so far, this has been the basics of trading, salvaging, and looting, and basic economy for Galaxy. And I'm going to end the video, as I just said, with this nice tour of a great interior ship. Five-letter word for happiness, money. Correct. We shall never deny a guest even the most ridiculous request. Well, what if I request to nuke the ship? Here's some nice rooms over here. You see, freighters, they can have a bit more of an interior because they have nothing else to do. It's boring without it. So, some freighters can afford these really nice detailed interiors to hang out in. And let's go run down here. Look at this cool orb. I don't know what that's about. These seats you can sit in. You can hold a meeting around here. Or you can run all the way up, and I know the mesh is a bit glitched right now, they'll have to fix that, but you can run right up into the pilot seat, and here you go. This is an armed freighter, although we won't really get to see it in action, but it has a cargo hold of 2,500, so it's a decent mid-tier freighter. Uh, hold on, let's try our cost command. And it costs about 71,000 credits, so not necessarily affordable for a lot of people. But it does have weaponry, some turrets to defend it, and spinal weaponry to defend it. So I recommend this one for hanging out with your buddies, light trading, and here's the good part about it. This ship, now why I didn't just end the video earlier, why I'm ending it here, not just for the interior, but because alien pr hunting is so profitable, but freighters don't really have weapons and aren't really fast enough to catch up to f aliens, so normally you'd have to use a separate ship. But with this, you can hunt aliens and salvage them at the same time, all with the same ship, and it'll save you a lot of time and make a lot of money. So, I suppose this is a good ship to get midterm. And I'm going to end it off right here with us docking. This has been the basics to trading and looting tutorial video for Galaxy. Pop Floyd plays. Going to see you in the next time and gonna repeat myself because I messed that up. Paul Floyd plays signing out.